Years ago, we learned an early lesson from Pittsfield Mayor Jim Roberto. Not everyone believes that better days lie ahead. Sometimes, the very people who call our Gateway Cities home are the least optimistic about their prospects. Watching Gateway Cities closely for over a decade now, we've seen how important it is to have leaders like Mayor Roberto, leaders who can change the psyche of a community. They do this by collaboratively establishing a positive vision for their cities and then leading by example in the fearless pursuit of that vision. Where leaders lead in this way, people set aside differences and contribute their precious time and talent to the cause. Because this is happening in our gateway cities, despite very real challenges, these communities aren't shackled by anger and division. They overcome obstacles with unity and determination. Today we honor the leaders that are making it so. They include people like Gloria Hall. Gloria brought the Worcester community together through the installation of public art in Elm Park. Elm Park is one of our nation's first public parks. It has a celebrated Frederick Law Olmsted design. Art in the Park engages residents and students in nearby schools. They now take great pride in their unique park and the art that graces it from June through September. Many of our Gateway City leaders have been fighting relentlessly for decades. They have accomplished a lot, but they aren't content with having done their part. They keep pushing for more and better. Take the Low Waterways Vitality Initiative. After working to get a state park and then a national park and drawing over a billion dollars in investment to the area around these institutions, these same leaders are unifying a new generation around the Waterways Vitality Initiative, an even more ambitious vision to light Lowell's canals, make them more accessible, and activate them as unique public spaces. Al Wilson came to Lynn with a vision for great public art. He sought out internationally renowned artists to adorn the city with murals. He's established a new organization, Beyond Walls, to keep this effort going. In Gateway Cities, leadership is often not about a single individual, but rather collective efforts that demonstrate how communities can sow positive change working together. This summer, Fitchburg Pride held Al Fresco Fitchburg, an outdoor dining event with eight restaurants participating. This creative placemaking experiment drew over 200 patrons to the city's main street. Here in Lawrence, Lupoli Companies in Northern Essex Community College teamed up to launch the Revolving Test Kitchen, a restaurant incubator that is giving local chef Ray Gonzalez the start he needs to build a successful business. In Brockton, the Fuller Craft Museum helped form Greater Brockton Young Professionals, which is led by a 20-person steering committee and has already grown to 300 members strong. In September, the Museum and Young Professionals Association achieved an early victory, working together to transform a vacant downtown building into a canvas for art. For years, the grassroots organizations vital to community development in gateway cities have been losing steam as state and federal dollars to support this important work have waned. But placemaking the arts are reigniting the flame. Nueva Esperanza, a community organization in Holyoke with a 35-year legacy, was rejuvenated recently after a period of dormancy. Nelson Roman, a fresh young leader, has taken the reins and the organization will be working with the city over the next year to organize placemaking activities on Main Street with the National Endowment for the Arts, Our Town Grant. As Gateway City residents come together to demonstrate the latent potential of their communities in creative ways, leaders are servicing and putting real money behind their cause. To give you an example, we end back where we began in Pittsfield with Main Street Hospitality. Sarah Eustace led the transformation of a former men's haberdashery into the 45-room Hotel on North. With modern design, this boutique hotel honors the past while injecting new life into the present. As John Quincy Adams said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Our Gateway Cities 2017 Innovation Award winners passed this test. We congratulate them on their achievements and thank them for imparting their passion on us.